Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BD Armoury. Today we are taking a look at my low power craft, the Mellifera, which I uh, I made in a video not that long ago. In the background you can see a fight from that video where the Mellifera went up against my previous low part fighter, the Apis, and the Mellifera kind of shredded it, but one thing I didn't do during that video was put the Mellifera up against my current main set of fighters, my normal part count fighters. Now this was mainly because I thought the Mellifera would get shredded, I mean I threw this thing together in a hurry and my other fighters I've spent hours sort of designing, building and tuning, but just in the course of things I have done some fights between the Mellifera and some of my main fighters and the, the Mellifera has a nasty habit of winning. I mean it's not the worst problem to have but it is kind of embarrassing and does mean I'm going to have to go through all my main fighters and give them a serious tune up before the next series of fighter subscriber or any other big project I'm going to do with them. First things first though we need to establish the scale of the problem, uh, if you can really call it that. Um, so we're going to go and throw the Mellifera into a series of dogfights against my current best fighters. We start by pitting the Mellifera against my uh, my oldest top three craft, the Red Hawk, one of the craft that the Mellifera has beaten off camera. So um, let's see if that was a fluke or not. The competition starts. Steak Kerman in the lead Mellifera is very quickly around. Uh, I'm not sure what range I set these sidewinders up to fire from, but. Uh, his two wingmen certainly have gotten one away. Steak Kerman himself has not, though. Now breaking low, popping plenty of chaff to try and avoid the other uh, the Amrams coming in. Will he manage it this time? He has a lock, gets one away. Now just a small missile compliment on these crafts, so they're only set up for uh, one per target, but it looks like they are closing the distance quickly. I think this is going to turn into a gunfight uh, pretty soon. Yeah, Steak Kerman comes around. Uh, still popping the countermeasures. I think there's a missile flying around somewhere. Doesn't have time to actually get a missile off on that Red Hawk. Yeah, we've just closed the distance. Now it's time for the guns and hoping the sound bug doesn't strike too quickly. Sneak Kermit, another missile comes in. Oh, he gets damaged. It strips him of his air intake. It strips him of his air intake. He is now a sitting duck. How are the other Mellifera's doing? Legged Lack Kerman seems to be in... Um, he seems to be in slightly ruder health than his wingman comes about. Will he try and get off a shot? Yes, put some damage into one of the Red Hawks. The, uh, the Mellifera's will have to hope that Steak provides some distraction while they try and destroy the other Red Hawks. Oh my god, that was so close. I think a little bit of tuning needed there with the, uh, with the steer correction. Uh, still missiles going backwards and forwards. Leg of that come and trying to line up the shot. I think they do seem to be the more manoeuvrable craft. Um, but it's just getting that final shot away. The, uh, the, the, um, the tune I've got here was a bit of a rush chop, as I said, so yeah, I mean, the, the Red Hawks might be technically winning at the moment, but there's, there's still cause for concern, if you, uh, if you understand what I'm saying. The sound bug has indeed kicked in. Oh, damn it all. Missiles coming in from somewhere. Oh my god! Like that Kerman takes a sidewinder hit. No real damage to his craft apart from the air intake getting stripped off. Manages to get a missile of his own way, manages to get some guns away. And that last Mellifera, Ion Kerman, looks to be doing quite well. I mean, might not be doing too well in a minute given that it's about to be three on one. Yeah, Legolak Kerman dis uh, distracting at least one of the other Red Hawks. Can Ion Kerman, does he have a chance of leveling this thing up? He's. Uh, having to twist and turn, avoid and engage in equal measure. Oh my god, I think three of these things might be too big an ask for him. Yeah, this this might be a long one. This might go to who runs out of fuel first. Ion Kerman takes a hit, takes more of a hit, takes a lot of hits. And it is all over. Well, maybe I needn't have worried. The, uh, the Red Hawks are victorious in that first fight. I think that was more down to uh, the rough tuning and the um, the slight slight Achilles heel of that air intake there. Uh, Ghosty Kerman trying desperately to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory, but uh, yeah, let's um, let's move on, shall we? Next up then, the Mellifera will go up against another craft along the same light and nimble lines, my Spike Tail. Let's, uh, let's get this one started. 
So the Low Park craft gets a second chance to show us what it can do. Ben Kerman in the uh, in the lead mellifera this time again. The lead mellifera not getting its missiles away. I wonder what that is about. In fact, I don't think any of them have gotten their missiles away. Yeah, those uh, those spike tails turned around quickly and got their got their volley off first and indeed second. So uh, I think. I think the uh, Malifera has it in it to, to dodge those missiles. That was kind of its problem that first time, dodging Sidewinders and then getting hit. Oh my word, one of the Spike Tails is gone. One of the Spike Tails is gone. That's, um, that's less good news from my current best lineup. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see how the rest of the fight pans out. Ben Kerman desperately trying to come around, bring his guns to bear onto one of the Spike Tails. That looks like that was some heavy damage. Can we find... Oh my god, one of them's gone. Yeah. It's just down to one. Ion Kerman. Ion Kerman, the sole survivor of the Spike Tails. More gunfire rains in. Oh, that is not good news. Takes a scorching. Still has enough to fly for the time being. But yeah, it's going to be more difficult to control. And Now it's just dust. Yeah, that's that's more the sort of performance I was uh, I was talking about. More the sort of performance I was worried about. Hmm. Anyway, let's um. Let's go see how these craft get on against my latest and greatest. I'm getting a little bit nervous now, <laughs> um, but hopefully this should be a comfortable victory for my Lynx, the uh, the craft I kind of half designed on stream and is normally far and away the best of my fighters at the moment, but yeah, let's um let's get them up into the air. One final time then our Mellifera's turn to face the enemy. This time the lead Mellifera has no problems getting a getting a sidewind away, leg of that Kerman managing that comfortably. The return volley comes in. These craft have seemed seemed pretty proficient in dodging missiles, uh, apart from some problems they had in the first uh, in the first match with the Sidewinders, but um, yeah, bit of an Achilles heel. Not sure I can design that one out. Oh my god, one of the Lynxes is... is um, was that the Mellifera's? Yes. Some of the Mellifera's... No. It's just damaged. I think they've been damaged. I don't think they've been destroyed. Huh. Now the Mellifera's turn to get their guns on the, uh, on the target. Look at that Kerman. Trying to go for a Sidewinder. There was an explosion there. I'm not sure what that was. Oh my god. Steak Kerman is just shredding one of the Lynxes. I think it's lost, yeah, lost an engine and some other bits. Ion Kerman, how are the other Lynxes doing? Oh, that one's not in a good way. Oh, this is, this is, this is not good news. I said before the uh, the start of the fight with the Red Hawks, maybe the victory for the Mellifera's was just a fluke in that fight. <laughs> I'm now starting to think if the victory for the Red Hawks was just a bit of a fluke, as Josh Kerman's craft gets steadily picked apart. Oh dear, Josh Kerman. Hmm. And now there's a missile coming in. Bye bye, Lynx. Bye bye, Josh Kerman. Okay, yeah, I, um... I have some tweaking to do on my other craft. Huh. But anyway, that will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, following me on Twitter, maybe getting involved with the Discord, Great Care Speed and BD Armory community on there. Um, all those links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon, if you want to help support the channel on Patreon. You too can get your own little patron kerbal to um, kill and be killed time and time again, as well as some other benefits. Uh, I will be back soon uh, with some more BD Armory, but until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.